Welcome everyone to another Subnautica guide video. By request, today I am going to guide you through the precursor warp gates in Subnautica. First off, there will be spoilers in this, so if you wish to avoid those, feel free to check out some of my other Subnautica content instead. So whether you are following the story radio messages, searching for blueprint scans, or just wandering around, eventually you will encounter one of the alien arches. These are basically warp gates, and other than the green color and shape, pretty much resemble the warp gates from the Stargate movies and television series. In Subnautica, there are two types of warp gates. There are the master gates and the slave gates. Master gates will have a pedestal at the front where you are required to insert an ion cube to power up and activate them. Slave gates will be missing the pedestal and will only activate once the associate master gate has been activated. There are currently a total of 8 master gates and 8 corresponding slave gates in the game. The first alien arch you are most likely to encounter will either be the master gate inside the mountain island caves or you will find the associated slave gate on the floating island. Next, you will encounter either the master gate inside the alien thermal plant or its associated slave gate inside the quarantine enforcement platform, you know, where the big gun is. Again, while you might encounter the slave gates first, you will not be able to use them until the correct master gate has been activated. The remaining six master gates are found inside the primary containment facility in the active lava zone. One of these will be inside the aquarium room and will connect to a slave gate inside the primary containment facility's moon pool room. Another master gate will be the one inside the aquarium room that is buried under sand. After your conversation with Big Mama, the Sea Emperor Leviathan, she will blow away the sand from this master gate so it can be used. This gate will then connect back to the slave gate just outside the quarantine enforcement platform near its moon pool room. The other four master gates are found on the sides of the main room where the ion cube generator is. These four master gates are linked to slave gates located in the Bulb Zone, Cragfield, Lost River, and Mushroom Forest. While the first half of the gates are connected in ways more so to help with getting around the planet, this last half are better used for obtaining resources involved with the storyline. Most of the alien arch gates are located in air-filled rooms, meaning you won't be taking your sea moth through most of these. All gates are too small to fit your cyclops through, but the prawn suit should have no issue moving through any of them. Well, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you can now navigate the alien arches a little bit better. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am your host, Mr. Spicy, as always. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.